Hi, my name is Paul Davids and thank you for joining me in this lesson of Freight Train, the Tommy Emanuel version. I'm coming to you from the beautiful place of Namibia. Tabs for the song are available on my Patreon page, so please check it out. Here we go. I'm gonna play it very slowly for you guys at first, so for those who just wanna figure it out by the fingering, this is for you. This is the classic blues with the alternating thumb pattern. We start with a C chord and we're gonna play the melody, which is played like this. Fret three and the open string on the first string. And then fret three and one on the B string. So it's the first sentence from the song, basically. And whilst doing that, you play with your thumb the alternating bass pattern, which is played on the, e the A string and then to the D string and then your ring finger shifts up to the low E string playing a G and then back to the D string again. So it's... And that's the pattern we keep on doing in this song. So that's the first chord. Cool. Now we go to the G chord, the G7. We can do a cool hammer on on the G string from fret three to fret four with your middle finger make it sound extra bluesy. And the bass note is playing alternating patterns on the E string, then to the D, and then to the A string, and then to the D string. The chord is just your basic G7 bar chord. And the melody is like this, hammer on, and then to the E string, fret three, so we already bar that note with our index finger, and then your pinky on the second string, fret six. So. And between the last two bass notes, you can add fret six again on the B string to make it a little more full. Hi, birdie. <laughs> so the first two chords played right after each other sound like this. Very nice. Now we go to a D minor chord and the melody note is fret five on the E string. And your shape is just your basic D minor bar chord. And the bass pattern is on the A string, on the D string, and then the low E string, and then your index finger has to cover that string as well. So move it up all the way across the sixth string. And the melody is just fret five on the E string and fret six on the B string. So you don't have to do anything with your left hand. And then we go to a G9 chord which is not that difficult. It's fret three on the low E string, then we skip a string, then fret three on the D, fret two on the G, and fret three on the B string. But the melody note starts with the first string open. So that's an E. That is a six of the G chord. And the bass plays the low E string followed by the D string and only those two strings, so no third string is happening in this chord. So two times the E and the D. And then we go to the C chord. Starting on the C melody note, the second string. And the bass pattern is the same as the C chord from earlier, so C, and then the D string, and then the G string, where you have to fret the sixth string again with your ring finger on fret three. So, and the melody is F. So it's fret one on the B string, and then followed by fret three, and an open string on the high E string. 
nice. And now we go to the B part of the song, starting with E chord. The bass pattern is just what you expect. So um, the E string, the D string, the A string, and the D string again. And the melody is on the first string E, and then fret one on the E string, and you can bar your index finger when you play that note. Back to E, and then fret three on the B string, making it an E7 chord. Sounds very good. There are flies. Then we go to the F major chord, and I'm playing it with my thumb of the sixth string. And the bass pattern is just the sixth and the fourth string, so the E and the D string. And the melody is. So we do a hammer on right after the, the third bass note, so the E string again. And the first melody note is the B string, fret one. And then we do a hammer on with our index finger, so. Cool. And then we go to F sharp diminished. So we play it like this, fret two, and then skip a string, fret two, fret two, and fret one. Okay? And then the bass pattern is sixth and fourth string. And then when the melody starts on fret one on the B string, uh, and then followed by the bass note, and then at the third bass note, we release our index finger from the second string, creating an open B string. And then we play the third string, and then the bass note again, the last bass note. So slowly. Cool, almost at the end. Now we go to the C chord, and the melody note is the G string. So we play the G string, and the bass pattern is the same from the C chord before. So we play bass to the D string, and then your, and then when you play the sixth string, your index finger goes again to the sixth string. You play the first string as the melody note, followed by the third string, and then the bass note plays a D string again. So, and now the ending, the cool little run, we play a G7 chord. So it's fret three, skip a string, fret three open G string, fret three on the B string. And then we play the open string as melody notes, the open E string, followed by the D note, the bass note. And then your pinky slides up to fret four, sliding back to three, and then playing an open B string. So. And when you slide down, that's the moment we play the root note again. And then the open B string is in between the bass notes again. And now we go to back to C. Just a basic pattern. And then I play a little run from C and then an open G string. Open A string, open G string, fret three on the low E string, open G string, open E string, open E string. And then a C chord. That's your ending over there. So one time in total it sounds like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna enjoy this country some more. So have a wonderful day. Oh and a shout out to Journey Instruments for sending me this travel guitar. Whoa, what's that? I'm getting attacked by animals. <laughs>